guess I never mentioned this in the last two videos, I do actually have another YouTube channel out there, and if anyone can figure out who I am the faceless voice of, then you win a prize of some sort. Let the conspiracy theories begin! Anyway, back on topic. Today I thought I would try making one of my usual sort of videos, but with my face in it, and see if anyone likes that sort of shit on this channel. So I found this reddit called r slash I am a total piece of shit. And I feel a bit of a spiritual connection to such a subreddit, to be perfectly honest with you, because I have been a total piece of shit and continue to be at times in my life a total piece of shit. So today on the subreddit there's a lot of stuff to do with Article 13, because that's just gone down the whole vote. Um, basically the internet for people like me in the UK and the rest of Europe is fucked. Unless we in the UK end up leaving Europe and then I guess things might be okay. Which it looks like we're going to, so I'm, I'm not sure where we stand to be perfectly honest with you. The cockwaffle that cucked the internet. Jussie Smollett. Jussie Smollett gets to walk free on accounts of spending adequate enough time in community service. His £10,000 bail is dropped, along with all 16 charges of disorderly conduct. Yeah, the state has dropped all charges, all 16 charges against Jussie Smollett because he used to be a good person or something? I don't really understand. I think it's more down to the fact that the police leaked half of the evidence to the press instead of doing anything with it, like pressing criminal charges in the first place, and they fucked themselves in the ass, because they're incredibly unprofessional. Fucking idiots. Kids won't stop vaping in the bathrooms, so now we can't use a majority of them. <laughs> a Cincinnati woman who admitted to accepting money from her cousin, who then sexually abused a toddler in her care, was sentenced Monday in federal court to 11 years in prison. Good. Jesus Christ. Uh, sex abuse and child sex abuse case involving... Oh my god. Piece of shit. When I say I used to be a piece of shit, I wasn't nearly as much of a piece of shit as... Well, maybe I, I was more like the kids vaping one. I was that level of piece of shit. Um... Just quickly read this one and it upset me because I've known people who have survived off of food from food banks and if they received a haul like this from a food bank they would be so fucking grateful would not say a bad word about it. Seriously, with the thousands upon thousands of dollars being raised and food being collected, this is what the Frederiction Food Bank gave us for Christmas dinner? I am stunned. Not even a bottle of juice for my children? Please don't get me wrong, I'm forever grateful to have the resource of the food bank. But I want to know where all that money and food went to. A turkey. A five pound bag of potatoes. Two boxes of stuffing. A bag of carrots. A bag of apples and a bag of oranges. One can of string beans, one can of cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce? That's a luxury. And one loaf of bread? One box of chocolates and a dozen sugar cookies. Why didn't we even get juice or butter? Because you obviously don't just... Um, if you're complaining about the lack of juice or butter after your kids have just been given a shitload of oranges and apples, I'm a bit concerned. The shit like this really concerns me. You're complaining about the lack of butter. After all that, I'm sure that you can now find the ATP necessary to get yourself the butter. And you've got real fruit there instead of fruit juice for your kids, which is much better. There's a few really upsetting videos on R. I am a total piece of shit, so I would give a warning about those and maybe just skip past them, because even I don't like watching most of them. They're just nothing in the realms of gore or, or snuff or anything like that. Just you will really feel a bit upset after watching two or three of them, because... People are garbage. If you befriend a white person and one day say, I hate white people, in which they get offended, unfriend them. White people who understand their privilege and inherent authority are so much better than ones who can't understand why minorities have this substantiated discourse. <sighs> you're a piece of shit. And then you go from like, you're a piece of shit to... <sighs> British girl reveals how her mother ironed her breasts when she was 13 to make her ugly so no one will admire me. 
I've heard about that happening in certain tribes, literally in Central Africa, where breast flattening is a thing, and it's to prevent your daughters from looking attractive so that they don't get raped. This shouldn't happen in the UK. Fingerprint match clears man after 36 years in prison following rape case. A man serving a life sentence following his conviction for a 1982 rape and stabbing was freed last week after a match in a fingerprint database led to his exoneration. So this guy was wrongly accused of rape and a stabbing and he was finally set free yesterday. He spent 36 years in prison for a crime he did not commit as now substantially proven by evidence. That jury, as rightfully said here, took his life away from him. He's now 50 years... 58 years old, 36 years. Can you imagine being 22 years old and going to jail for, yeah, I couldn't survive that. Uh, I really hope this one's fake. Before and after abortion pick, I seriously feel 10 pounds lighter. RIP baby, let's see those sexy bods. No bashing. I really, really hope that's fake. Because if that's not, that's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen a human being post. Ooh. Anti-vaxxers encouraging each other on Facebook to needlessly endanger the lives of other children. My favourite. Our first grandchild was born this week and we just got the dreaded text. Can't visit unless you are up to date on DTAP and flu shot. We have already paid for the accommodations and are heading that way in three weeks. Guess we will ski and vacation instead. I wish I could make a difference. Heartbreaking. They don't check. Can you say you're up to date on your immunizations? Yeah, just say you're all good. How would they know if you've received it or not? Just lie. How are they going to know otherwise? These people want to protect their children. Just because you don't, don't put theirs at risk. You fucking sick shits. My friend's shitty ex-boyfriend cheated on her and now won't leave her alone. I was just seeing if you were going to message me on Snapchat if you cared enough, but I see you don't, which is cool, because if you did, you would have by now. But like, I said it's cool, I went out tonight and hooked up with a very beautiful girl, and we're talking now, and yes, I got laid. Oh my god, <laughs> what a douchebag. Girl, don't feel better, I can already tell from that first message that you are so much better off without him. Okay, good for you. You're acting cool, but I know it's killing you. Just know, this is all your fault. You let your friend control who was coming to Jersey to celebrate your birthday with you, instead of controlling your birthday party yourself. So this was all on you. I honestly don't care at all. <laughs> I feel nothing anymore. Cool. Haha. <laughs> Me either. Your shit's in the trash, by the way. Ugh. Your shit's in the trash, by the way, babe. Ugh. I've just thrown it in the trash, by the way. Why are you being such a shitty person? Like, I don't throw your stuff away. Cause he is dying inside and he's got to do anything he can to hurt you and make him feel as fucked up right now as he's feeling. Just comfort yourself with that thought. Tell Sam I'm done being nice and just let her know I've still got pics of her that she didn't know about that I'm going to post all over social media. So now he's effectively blackmailing her or threatening her. That's disgusting. She can go to the cops with that now. Simple. He's a shitty human being. Fuck him. With the fucking fisting of the law. Uh, I hope Reddit's got a way of tracking people and reporting them to the police. Serious. Former rapists of Reddit who got away with it. What is something you think every man should know before committing the deed? Serious. What industrialised modern country or area of the world is rape the easiest to get away with? Serious. Why don't you respect rapists, even if the victim isn't even a child? That actually makes me feel sick and really worried at looking at that. Absolute twat needlessly smashes goose eggs. Whichever sick and twisted individual decided to throw and smash a goose's egg across Greg's place today, I hope you know that should you ever trip and fall into the campus lake, we'll be there to hold your head under while you drown. We've been feeding the geese for almost two years now, and to see Mama Goose in the photos so distressed was awful, especially as she came home to show us all the pieces of her egg you'd smashed. You're an inhuman fuck. For the people who actually give a damn about the wildlife, we've lured Goose parents away and we feed them somewhere safer for the evening now. 
whoever did that, you... I hope someone comes along and throws you against the wall. I hope someone comes along and stamps on your bones like they're eggs. Dog for sale. Need gone ASAP. $450. Female Labrador cross Steffi. Do you mean cross Staffy? Good God, dog. Good with kids and other animals. Really playful and loves attention. Reason for selling her is don't need her anymore and getting a new puppy. Fuck you. You don't sell a dog to get a new dog. You disgusting piece of shit. Alright everybody. Try to remember not to be a total piece of shit. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.